Are you serious? Are you serious? We got chaos breaking out this morning. Uh, we in Sydney, Australia, we've got a stabbing. A man went on a stabbing rampage, uh, first killing a woman in an apartment. Apparently, he ran outside of the apartment down the street, stabbing and wounding severely another woman, and then chasing other women with his knife, trying to stab others. Fortunately. Uh, people on the street, pedestrians on the street, tackled this man and pinned him down and held him until the police and authorities got there to take him away and restrain him. Um, this is a, an unbelievable situation here, a terrifying carnage in Sydney, Australia. But wait, there's more. We've also had a train. Two trains have collided head on. Uh, CSX trains north of um, in Ohio, north of Cary, Ohio, this morning. 25 r cars have derailed. The locomotive also derailing, according to CSX, reported that the incident occurred at about 5.15 a.m. this morning, uh, according to Wendot. Uh, but uh, the county sheriff is saying uh, this is a very serious situation because of some of the uh, cargo on one of the trains. Uh, so we're going to wait and find out what's going on here. But uh, most of these cars contained regular cargo, but there was some uh, chemicals involved. So we'll wait and see what the whole situation is there. That's two trains colliding uh, just outside of Cary, Ohio. And then we have a, a, a situation just been confirmed this morning in North Dakota. Uh, we got anthrax. Uh, agricultural officials are saying that anthrax has been confirmed in a group of cows in a pasture in eastern Billings County, uh, North Dakota. Uh, this case was confirmed. It's North Dakota's first reported case of anthrax this year. North Dakota State Veterinarian Susan Keller said that the producers in the Billings County and surrounding areas should check with the veterinarians to see if there should start vaccinating the cattle in that area as this is a uh, several uh, cows a group of cows have been confirmed with anthrax so we got that situation going on right now as well and there's been a terrible bombing this morning early this morning a large fire breaks out at a weapons depot after a Iraqi militant group causing explosions uh, that could be heard all across Baghdad, killing one person, injuring 29. Uh, the authorities are saying, it looks like Iran, uh, excuse me, it looks like that uh, Iraq and Afghanistan are now starting to have the problems again. Here we go. As the Americans are drawing down in Afghanistan, we're seeing the Taliban getting more and more and more aggressive and also some of the radical groups in our, that are in Iraq. So, uh, here we go again uh, with the radical behavior uh, by these extremist groups in the Middle East. We'll be back with more current world events and how they relate to biblical prophecy. I hope you enjoyed our interview. Those of you who listened this morning, I was on Coast to Coast this morning with George Norrie. It was a powerful two-hour interview. We talked about everything. Uh, the Temple Mount, the rebuilding of the Third Temple, the Antichrist, we talked about the uh, how the Antichrist will come on the scene. Who could be the Antichrist? Where could the Antichrist come from? How close are we to this? We talked about uh, the red heifer update, the birth of two more new red heifers this year. What does that all mean? The peace deal, Kim Jong-un, wars, rumors of wars. We talked about Cascadia, the subduction zone, earthquake swarms in California. What does that mean? Planet X, Nibiru, uh, the uh, radioactive uh, red dust in Antarctica. We talked about numerous prophecies in the Bible. 666, the mark of the beast, uh, the four horsemen of the apocalypse, you name it. I can't even remember. I mean, there were so many areas we touched on uh, that was a fascinating historical interview. According to the producer there, he said, the, the phones were lit up like crazy, and uh, it was a very powerful, powerful interview. It's on Coast to Coast. I just did it this morning, and, uh, of course, you can listen to the archives over at Coast to Coast, all right? 
God bless all of you. We'll be back with more. I'll see you at 12 noon Eastern uh, right here on the coming apocalypse.